It's just for you. Um, obviously, you had a number of choices. You decided to, to come to Milwaukee. What was appealing to you about this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, uh, starting, I would say starting with Bud, um, D. Ham, a couple of the guys on the coaching staff, uh, they were part of my process getting drafted in Atlanta. So um, that played a, a major role, um, just that relationship um, that I know I don't really have to question. So um, that pretty much where it started. Um, I was kind of cool with Giannis a little bit. We had a few conversations. So it was it was just the relationships I already had with a couple of guys on the team that kind of attracted me here. Uh, and then just for you, kind of what did you hear about a possible role? Like how do they see you fitting in? Yeah, I mean, they know my game. Um, just pretty much just do what I've been doing. Um, come in, uh, be aggressive defensively, um, offensively attack the rim and do what I do offensively. So just a number of, few, uh, number of uh, different things that I bring to the table. And I know uh, Bud know how to use me in different, uh, different ways. So that's pretty much what I, what I um, picture happening. Uh, just for you, you're, you're on a contending team. They make a big trade, and now you move to another contending team in the same conference. Just what has this season been like? Like, just kind of like hearing, hey, we got to make room, so we're going to let you go, and then still finding a, a, what I would say is a pretty nice spot uh, to land. Yeah, well, I definitely didn't see that coming. Um, thought I had a nice role, but um, like you said, um, certain, certain um, uh, what do I say? Uh, trades you can't really come you can't really control so uh me being traded during the season was my first time we're not traded but uh waived so I'm, i've never uh dealt with that during the season at least i would say so it's my first time um like i said it's more so me just seeing another opportunity out there and why not um um come play with the bucks i mean i almost came here last year to be honest with you um so like i said just having those relationships played a major role with me coming here and um, yeah, I'm just still trying to get better, to be honest. Thank you. I'll see you around. Thank you. Eve. Obviously, there's a relationship with Bud. I was just wondering, who are some of the players on the Bucks roster that you kind of have background with or kind of were friends with that kind of helped in that regard? To be honest, um, outside of just me talking to Giannis a few times, um, nobody really. Um, you know how this is. Uh, we, we all kind of go against each other, just have a little small um, conversations here and there but um, for the most part no one no one I can say I, I had a real relationship with um, more so just like coach the coach some of the guys on the coaching staff that was really it and from an from an opponent's perspective what was your impression of the Bucks from afar in terms of just what how did you feel about what they had going yeah I mean I've, I've been watching them um, I've been enjoy watching them over the past few years grow and so what they are now um, Collectively, they're a team. Um, you could tell they're all on the same page. They all are together, and they all um, want to win. Um, obviously, they won last year, and um, I would expect that they want to go back and do it again this year. So um, you could tell everyone's locked in, and pretty much everyone knows their roles. So um, I kind of see myself um, just coming in, trying to fit fit right in. I mean, I'm a team player, and um, all I do want to do is win. So um, Bud knows that. I think uh, GMs, players know um, my competitiveness. So um, I'm just trying to help help the team get back to where they've already been. Thank you. Here is. Hey, excuse me. Hey, Deontre, uh, Darius Joshua with uh, CBS 58 here in Milwaukee. Kind of what have these first couple of days been like? I mean, we know you were here to, to watch uh, Giannis' 15-point performance <laughs> the other night. Kind of what is it like uh, actually getting around the guys and, and kind of getting into the, some of the group? Yeah, so uh, that was definitely <laughs> my first day here, um, being able to watch the, those guys go out there and play. And yes, Giannis. Had a hell of a game. Um, obviously, not his first fifty-point game, but he looked comfortable uh, going out there doing it again. So um, it was fun to watch those guys just to try to see um, how these guys uh, match, uh, mush with each other um, in person. So it was pretty cool. Um, got to sign yesterday, um, worked out a little bit, and yeah, I mean it's been good just meeting everybody and um, just trying to build those relationships really. You've been on a few teams now, but it's kind of interesting. We expect that you would make your debut tonight here against the Sixers, but then there's a whole week off. Is that a good thing? Is that another chance to kind of get more acclimated, or is it? would you like to kind of have more experiences in game? No, I mean, I got here when I got here. Um, uh, just happy I can get to the next team and just try to get better. Um, like you said, um, this team, I know this team at all teams need a break. Um, this this for sure will help out a lot of guys' legs and just refresh and get back to it and get locked in. So 
Yeah, it's been great ever since I've been here, really. Um, like I said, I'm still trying to get better and just trying to get get comfortable with everybody, really. Um, this break, like I said, it'll help everyone refresh, um, clear their mind, and then we can just get back to it. It is, was another part of it, uh, in, in choosing the Bucks, you mentioned that the rest of the first thought with Darvin here, and because another part of it is going from a contender who you kind of wanted to be on another team that would kind of be in that mix late in, late in the season, late in the postseason. Of course, of course. Um, Definitely, um, that that's definitely one of the things that came down to as well. But uh, I would say more so the relationships came first because um, I wanted to go somewhere where I know I'd be comfortable. But yeah, everyone wants to be uh, in the playoffs, of course, man. And um, I've seen this opportunity where they already been to where I'm trying to go. So um, yeah, of course that played a factor. But the relationships, it was a little bit half and half, I would say. Thank you. And Hey, DeAndre, but just basketball-wise, how do you think you're going to be able to, is this a situation where you're just going to have to figure it out on the court and just, just learn through playing with, with the team, or can, can you only study so much, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I think the way I play, um, I'm a team player. Um, defensively, uh, I know the guys are going to enjoy me um, guarding some of their best players and taking a lot of pressure off a lot of other guys. So. Um, that's just the starting point where, where I start um, my game defensively and then offensively I'm, I, I flow around so um, I'm not one of those guys where I always have to have a ball in my hand or something like that. I know how to play off the ball. I can play with the ball in my hand as well. So um, over time, gradually, uh, I know I'll easily fit in. Like you said, I've been on a couple teams the past few years and I've carved uh, roles in um, all of those teams. So I'm not really too worried about my game, more so. Just worried about um, just getting out there, really. I'm um, looking forward to getting out there and just um, growing with these guys because, I mean, you can only talk so much and watch so much film. You have to get out there and actually um, battle with these guys. So me knowing a lot of these guys' games, uh, a lot of these guys know me as well. So it kind of works out. We'll, we'll definitely grow over time. And what, what were those conversations like with Giannis? How did he welcome you to, to the team? Yeah, I mean, he was, he's, he's a good guy, man. From from what I've known, um, he's a good guy. Um, he wants the best for his people around him. Obviously, his brother's here as well. Um, it's it's really a family unit, you can tell. Um, like I said, me already knowing Coach D. Ham and Bud already know how to carry their self and how they kind of get the team going. So, yeah, I mean, you can see it from afar. Giannis is he's a great person, man. Um, just looking forward to get to know everybody on a little more personal level. Cool, thanks, man. Hey, DeAndre, I hope you're doing well. Have a great journey in your work, first of all. Uh, for you, what's your mindset ahead of this challenge, ahead of this new challenge for you personally? Yeah, I mean, I think I always have the same mindset. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to win, to be honest. Um, that's that's my game. Uh, I play with a lot of energy and passion. So um, I think most people, if you, if you know my game, I mean, you know I'm probably going to be one of the hardest workers, one of the hardest guys out there trying to compete. And, find a way to win and um, there's different ways you can find ways to win and um, that's going to be uh, me trying to find out that role on this team but for the most part I mean my game's not going to change uh, drastically so um, like I said it kind of helps out that I get to play for a coach that already coached me before so I think I'll easily fit in. And so and also this team I did uh, search about that some days before what do you show about the depth of that group? How how deep is that team from your perspective? Yeah, uh, especially when and everyone gets healthy, man. Uh, we're, we're stacked, uh, stacked for sure. I mean, at every position. Um, I'll also say the thing I, I like um, is the size that we have. Um, even with the new with the bigs that we have, um, I seen last game we had Portis, Ibaka, and Giannis out there, and I'm just looking like, damn, like how? Like then when you got the two guards, they're both six five plus, so. Um, we, we, we're, we're able to guard and, and use our length and yeah, I mean, we just got so many different guys out there. Um, obviously, I, I think we have a couple more contracts out there as well. So um, we're still adding on. We're still trying to get better. And like I said, um, Ibaka, me, myself, um, two defensive guys can go out there and, and just help in different ways. Thank you very much.